Hi, this is Gabriel Gonzalez with another WPI technique. Today we will be discussing how to set up your signal condition amplifier module for your muscle tester platform. That is for the two channel HTB system, micrometer, or motorized MT or MKP platform. The KG transducer used with the muscle tester system has five pins. Line up the pins with the holes in the sockets. Then plug the five pin connector of the transducer into the socket labeled transducer on the front of the BAM21 amplifier. The heated cuvettes used in these systems has one cable with a six socket connector. Plug it into the port of the TCM2 temperature controller labeled channel one. When recording very small forces with a very sensitive transducer, the resonance frequency on the transducer needs to be filtered from its output signal using an anti-isolation filter. When the modular version of anti-isolation unit is mounted in the same frame as the BAM21 amplifier, these two modules are connected internally. If the standalone version of these units are used, they must be connected externally so that the output of the BAM21 LC is connected to the input of the anti-isolation unit. In both cases, the output of the anti-isolation module is the transducer signal that needs to be recorded. If an anti-isolation module is used, connect a BNC cable to the socket labeled corrected output. If an anti-isolation module is not used, connect the BNC cable to the socket label force output on the front of the BAM21 amplifier. Connect the other end of this cable to the analog input on the data recording device that is designated as the force recording channel, like the N1 connector on the LabTrax MDAC. If a motor is going to be used to stretch and relax muscles, it is controlled by an analog output of the data acquisition system. Connect the BNC cable to the socket on the front of the position control module labeled position in. Connect the other end of this cable to the analog output on the data recording device that is designated for the position protocol, like the out one connector on the back of the LabTrax MDAC. The position of the motor is monitored by an output of the position control module. Connect a BNC cable to the socket on the front of the position control module labeled position out. Connect the other end of this cable to another analog input in the data recording device that is designated as the motor position channel like the N2 connector on the front of the LabTrax MDAC. Connect the cable from the motor to the motor port on the linear position controller. The contraction of the tissue is controlled by another analog output on the data acquisition system that is designated for stimulation protocol. Connect a BNC cable to the socket on the back of the data acquisition system that is labeled OUT2. Connect the other end of this cable to the socket on the front of the stimulus isolation unit labeled INPUT. The stimulation leads from the cuvette have a single BNC connector. Connect the BNC from the leads to a BNC to double banana connector. Plug the dual banana connector into the black and red output ports on the front of the stimulus isolator. If you have questions about your system or setup, please give me a call.